today we are doing the first favorites video of 2022. Very excited. You guys know this is my favorite category of videos to do. So here are my Jan favorites. Kiss my ass goodbye. Give me that title, title. Come and give me that title, title. So, um, I am obsessed with the song title, as you uh, already have probably seen on, uh, like, you know, my other like shorts and reels and whatever. Um, I loved this song through December and I loved it through Jan. I keep singing it. It's just such a peppy, exciting song, and it makes you feel better like instantly. Okay, up next we have a super special collab. I'm really, really excited to partner with the Earth Collective, which is a brand that does hair care products, you know, combining the best of science and nature, which I feel gives you the best results in most cases. And uh, it's just really special. Why? Let me tell you guys why. Because I'm going to be talking about two of their products that come in a package right now, uh, which is their hair moisturizer and their scalp tonic. Their hair moisturizer was in my favorites video way back when. So yeah, I'm really excited to partner with them to share um, the products that I actually have really, really loved using over the last few months. And these are of course new, uh, you know, bottles and new packaging. But let me show you the older stuff so you know how much I love these products. So there are two products that we're going to be talking about today. You can see this is the scalp tonic. There's barely anything left in my bottle. And this is the hair moisturizer. Two products that I've been loving lately and that come in a package together. So there are a few reasons why I really, really love these products. The first reason is the multiple ways that you can use them on wet hair, dry hair for styling, just, you know, to moisturize the serum. Um, and the other thing I love about them is that they are both really light and non-greasy. So I'm going to start with the hair moisturizer. So the hair moisturizer you guys have seen in my earlier favorites video as well. It's just a really simple product to use. It's like a serum, um, you know, you can just pump a few bits out. So you can take a little bit like this and just kind of work it into your hair dry like I'm doing right now. If you want to just style it like, you know, if you want to tweak the ends, if you want a little extra moisture in your hair, um, it's great for that. You can just apply it all over. Again, really non-greasy. So once you apply it, you know, it just kind of vanishes into the hair and you don't really see it anymore. So I don't really like leave-in products that leave my hair clumpy or that, you know, you feel like, okay, like right now, there's nothing really in my hair other than this after washing it. And now I've added another layer. And it's just so seamless and easy that you can just easily put it and, you know, non-greasy after that, which is what I love. Um, you can ideally use this, obviously, after a wash also when your hair is wet, which is what I usually do. For someone that washes their hair frequently like me, this is great for that extra moisture and, you know, uh, hydration that you want in your hair again really light non-greasy so even if you just want to like you know I quickly rinse my hair and then I just add this on or on days when I'm shooting like today uh, if I want just to like tweak the ends of my hair for styling it's actually a great product for styling if you want to replace like your gel and stuff uh, for men as well both these products are unisex um, so yeah I really really love that you can use these products in multiple ways so this one again you can use wet dry which is great and it just gives your hair that extra moisture that extra hydration that you're looking for and non-sticky and just really easy to use then we have the scalp tonic again a product that can be used in multiple ways which is great for people like me that have a flaky scalp you guys know I have a really dry flaky scalp and it always needs some kind of hydration and moisture so again this can be used right after a wash if you want to it is non-greasy you will not feel like there's anything on your scalp because it's water-based so you can see it's really thin and light and you know like gets absorbed into your scalp really really easily so you can use it after um, you know a shower on wet hair and just kind of moisturize your scalp and then of course use the moisturizer for the rest of the hair so it kind of gives you that root to tip you know uh, hydration which is really really great which is why they work really well in a package or you can even actually just do this at night so what I love to do is like some days in the week when I'm 
uh, you know, feeling my scalp is really dry or flaky. I even use this as an overnight treatment where I just take some and just massage my scalp with it and leave it overnight into my hair. And again, non-greasy. It doesn't feel like you're using a product, which is what I love. Like I, I don't like to feel things in my hair. You guys know that about me, which is why I wash my hair every day. So I like products that, you know, seamlessly get integrated into your hair. And as I said, this is like a root to tip kind of hydration for your scalp and hair and works really really well when you use them both together so guys these are some of their best selling products and they usually never have a discount on these but since this is a special collab we have a discount code going for you guys so use the code sherry10 to get a 10 percent off on the package of these two because you know you want to get like that as i said root to tip hair care going for your hair and not just ignoring your scalp and you know moisturizing the hair so make sure you get this check out the code the link is in the description up next we have my favorite moment okay so it has to be the moment that you guys saw in my last vlog where i kind of flipped my day um and it was something i saw from uh, this is us uh, one of my favorite all-time shows it's very rare these days that you know you watch content or shows that give you a takeaway that you can actually implement in your real life and i feel like this is us is one of those shows there was a moment um while i was filming my vlog uh, where you guys saw me bummed and uh, unhappy and then I kind of flipped it where you know I was like you know what it's how the day ends that matters and nothing else and I ended the day with feeding some doggos and getting some coffee and feeling so much better and um, that for me that moment when I felt that switch was such an empowering feeling uh, as a person where I was like you know what I'm in control of my own happiness and I can change this and uh, that was pretty special favorite movie has to be the tender bar on prime it was something that uh, was unexpected for me honestly it was like usually wherever when i watch movies on the weekends and uh, saturday night or sunday is when we watch a movie together and this was one of those you know i was like oh it's come out let's watch it it'll be good and it is so 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 good where you think it's gonna be like a chilled you know whatever like ha huh, like a random movie you watch but it is Fab. And again, such a feel good feeling with the whole movie, the whole takeaway uh, from the movie is just so lovely. I don't really want to like have spoilers for you guys to ruin it for you. But like you're really rooting, um, you know, for the guy and um, like to see their life kind of turn. And uh, I mean, and what an amazing uncle. I don't want to say anything else. Watch the movie. we have this guy okay I'm a bit clumsy with him but um, this is my Mimi tongue cleaner um, for those of you that are regular viewers you know you've seen this uh, in one of my vlogs when I unbox it it is a tongue cleaner it's actually for kids uh, that's what it says at least in the like packaging and whatever I randomly ordered it off Amazon and I was really really surprised by it and this is my second one uh, because I loved the first one so much so I got it again and um, it it you know has two sides so there's one side which has like the thicker uh, bigger like whatever these are called and then there's the thinner more like silicone side which you can use to like actually clean your tongue really really well i'm not going to do a demo of this because that's kind of like disgusting i don't think anybody here wants to watch me clean my tongue but if you're looking for a good tongue cleaner check this out Dun, 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 dun. So a lot of you guys were expecting this, I'm pretty sure, because it's been in a ton of my vlogs lately. Um, so um, this was in one of my to buy or not to buy videos ages ago where I've done a detailed review about this. My best friend Nandini actually gave me this as a birthday present, not last year, was it the year before that, I think? So lately I've started having coffee in the evenings and this is actually perfect to make like a nice frothy like cappuccino. It's actually just a mug which, you know, uh, it's like for a single cup, uh, actually a small cup. Like I, I make two of these and fill my mug up every single day. And uh, it's something that's made my life so much easier that when you want that caffeine in the evening and you want like a nice cappuccino for one person, uh, you don't want like a mega like coffee machine and stuff like we have in our house where Weber has like the whole, you know, like shebang. This is just easy for a person like me that wants to just quickly make coffee and just like gulp it. Um, love, love, love this. 
Up next, we have my Alicia Souza planner. Firstly, I want to apologize to Alicia for calling her Alicia de Souza in the last two vlogs. Uh, I don't know for the life of me, I thought it was de Souza, and then one of you thankfully pointed it out in the comments, and I sent her a message, and I was like, I'm so sorry, I've been calling you de Souza all along. Um, so Alicia Souza sent me her planner, and I absolutely love it. I've been using this. You guys have again seen me write like my stuff in it. I've got. Uh, I haven't drawn myself here. I'm actually going to get like Weber to draw myself because uh, like draw me because he's a better artist than I am. And uh, I actually use it like I've even written all my Jan favorites in here. You can see. So you guys know I love to do this in Jan. Get my new planner sorted. You know, fill the first few pages out, write everything. And uh, this is a really, really beautiful planner. So for anyone who's looking for a nice 2022 planner, check this out. Okay, time for my favorite shows. Okay, we are starting with Singles Inferno, which is uh, kind of like the Korean version of Too Hot to Handle, but it's obviously really, really like censored and and much more, <laughs> uh, like you know, uh, like. I don't know how to say this, but it's 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 a really censored version of I guess too hot to handle, and um, it is just really really fun if you enjoy Korean content or K drama. Even if you don't, it's actually a really interesting different side to see to like the whole uh, Korean angle when when it comes to reality shows. And actually, there were a lot of controversies surrounding some of the participants after the show. If you read up. Um, you know and you get really invested in the show that's the thing with reality shows right you get so invested that you're like reading up on the people after googling them etc so yeah this was a show that i really really enjoyed it is my first korean reality show and i thoroughly enjoyed it then of course we have too hot to handle the newest season which i think was the the twist hottest to handle so far like i think it's the most risky season we've seen so much and so many rule breaks and like so much money just going and i was like oh my god no 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 um so i started thinking oh it's another season same show but i think this one was pretty exciting and a lot of like masala happening so if you're into reality tv check it out then we have crime scene the times square killer now this is something that really shook me because it was like you know it's amazing how these serial killers turn out to be the most random normal people uh, that you would like not even give a second glance to and like you know they just like mix and mingle into society so easily and then you're like oh my god like how did this happen um, it's of course a story from way back when uh, but it is about a real serial killer and uh, it kind of like it's kind of bone chilling so if you're sensitive I wouldn't watch it but I was like oh my god this is really eye-opening and uh, it was really well done, the whole documentary. Like it's a docu reality style, and I really enjoyed it. Then we have Emily in Paris, of course, uh, the new season. Really enjoyed it. I feel like I know a lot of people say, oh, we don't like the show. We don't. I feel like it's a light, fun show. And if you're obviously in the industry that I am, you know, you kind of are in with the PR world, and it's it feels like you know the whole influencer PR industry, obviously. So it just feels like okay, it's interesting to watch, and it's fun, it's light, and it's not like heavy uh you know like the previous one i just recommended so yeah i really enjoyed the new season selling tampa okay now this is like um selling sunset ki like sasti behen it is like really not uh as masale dar and milchi as like selling sunset but if you're a fan of selling sunset you will also enjoy selling tampa so just watch it new season of cheer again uh, this one has a lot of drama and I feel like, you know, the pressure is really on. Obviously, when you're a winner one year and you're coming back the next year and then this has the whole pandemic and both teams training through the pandemic and a lot of controversies and a lot of drama. And um, yeah, it is definitely, definitely really enjoyable. Like a lot of people are like, oh, why would you watch a show about cheerleading? But it's so much more than that. It's about how these people are probably like some of the fittest athletes in the world because it's ridiculous the stuff that they do and how much time and energy goes into just this you know one event that they want to win and the commitment the dedication um it it's really worth watching then on hot star we have my usual favorite this is us this is the final season so you guys won't be like seeing a lot of this after that which is really sad it is just one of my favorite all-time shows as i said a feel-good show a feel mushy show a show that will make you cry a show that will teach you a lot of stuff and um, a show that will make you love jack 
new season of euphoria again this one is not for the faint hearted there is a lot of nudity and a lot of scenes that will shock you uh, but again it's just they've done such a fab job with the show so current so relevant that you feel like you know when you're watching it you just you feel for these kids uh, but at the same time it's so hard hitting how real this is and um, yeah i would definitely 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 recommend it then we have fake famous okay now this show hit me hard it is about this whole influencer culture where they take three people um who say they want to be famous and they make them influencers with buying fake followers fake likes so i've done a video like ages ago about influencer marketing and all of that in detail talking about how you can buy everything on the internet etc i'm sure you can find that on my channel if you're interested but um this was kind of about how they took three people and made them into influencers buying fake followers etc etc and it's so true and crazy how this happens today and there's a lot of this happening today uh which is why for me i was like okay i know all of this but it still hit me hard but for those of you that are not aware i would totally recommend watching this because it will open your eyes to like a whole new world then we have the gilded age just one episode is out but if you're a downton abbey fan you will kind of like this which was my reason for watching it um so far it's not as masala and as amazing but maybe it's going to get better um i really enjoyed at least the first episode just cuz i like period dramas in general and uh, also this has meryl streep's daughter in it friends so yeah it's promising definitely check that out then we have lula rich on prime again it's a docu reality series about a brand that i didn't even know that existed very current very recent and uh, how like so many people were scammed and lost their money and really hard hitting and i mean i think it's really important for more people to know about these things so that they don't fall like prey to these schemes and you know things like this now um but yeah i i would really was like very invested and i finished the whole thing in like a day like that's how you know like interesting it is then we have hey you which is a new reality platform and you guys know how much i love reality tv so obviously i had to get a subscription uh and um i mean nobody is paying me to say this sadly but yeah i'm i've i've got a subscription and uh, the first two shows that i really 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 enjoyed watching the first one i discovered was the bradshaw bunch uh again it's about the bradshaw family really really fun and uh, he's just such a fun guy like i didn't even know of him before this but uh, i still watch the show and i found it exciting and engaging so that's one that i really really like the other one uh, i really liked was the real housewives of miami different to the real housewives of beverly hills but you guys know how much i love that so i thought this was like an and there's so many real housewives now it's like i'm like every place has a real housewife like can we have a real housewives of like mumbai now uh, but uh, um i feel like it was a really really like masala like reality show which i kind of enjoyed and miami is such a fun vibe then last but not the least we have snowdrop which is not on any of the mega platforms so you're going to have to just find it online and watch it like i am i am totally obsessed with jung hae in oh my god in this series he is like a dream and it is the most um, one of my favorite favorite k drama so far like it is going so well my friends and it's about to end this weekend ha <sighs> just watch it so guys those are all my jan favorites um i feel like it's such an exciting way to start the year with my favorites for you guys and i'm excited to hear about your favorites so if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up also comment below with your favorite shows movies whatever i want to know what you've been loving this month and i will see you guys soon bye Mwah.